Hello, I'm going to demonstrate a Y cable with a reverser. Now, this is a, a Grogu design I did a couple years ago. I have two servos. And these ter two servos are mini servos. This is like a mirror design. So, it's basically like eyelids too. If you have two sets of eyelids, you can run uh, two servos on one channel. But you can design the eyelids to work on one servo. But this black cable, I'm just going to hook up one of the leads to the servo, matching the colors. And I'll hook up the other side. But this is the battery, 6 volt, and you got a plug wire. This plug wire right here is an on off switch. And I'll just simply uh, plug this up to the receiver and then just make sure that you know the bright the bright color the white or yellow you know is plugged in on the top always the dark the black is power which is on the bottom but uh then i have a radio and i test a lot of my movements with a radio first before i plug it up to a servo controller so it's necessary to have a good radio. I mean, it don't have to be a whole lot. This thing right here might have cost forty dollars. I mean, it's just a good, dependable little radio. And I have another one here. This is a ten channel, and this is maybe fifty. You know, uh, and I'll send you links to some of these things, like the servos and, and radio and stuff. Uh, you'll you'll find these links on the community part of my YouTube channel now uh, you turn on a radio first then you turn on your receiver and you notice when I turned it on they the two servos centered so now the ears are laying down so I have just a Y cable on one channel so you would think they would move but they move different they different rota uh, rotation because they're mirrored. Now you see how they tilt in opposite of each other. Now to correct this, and the easiest way to correct it is add a servo reverser. And this little wire right here is a servo reverser. And it's just a little electronic device where you don't have to physically go into the servo and and change things and solder and things like that you can just add this wire and it will reverse it so what do you do on one of these lead wires here you just unplug one and then you you just plug up this uh, servo reverser just make sure your colors match and then you just plug it up to the the, the Y cable. Now, let's just see. I've turned it off and turned it back on. Now, let's just see how the rotation is now. Now, the rotation is correct. Now, you can do this like with like an iMac. If you have eight servos, that means that you will have four Y cables, but then you only have three reversers because the left right is going to be no need for a servo reverser. But then the eyelids, you can run two servos. And this is why I like designing things mirrored. And most designers design a lot of things mirror design. Now, you turn off your radio, you, you turn off the receiver first, and then you turn off the radio. But when you turn it on, you turn on the radio first, and then you turn on the receiver. But it's just, it's a learning curve for people that have never done it before. But... Just wanted to show you, and then I move that I move that channel to channel one, and that or channel two, and it makes it go up and down instead of left right. And 
I do a lot of testing and just to test the movement. And I'll just make these like this little eyelid mech with one servo. And I got a two servo ear mech behind it there. And I'll just uh, copy the whole thing, uh, flip it, mirror it. And then I just make my adjustments on how I want this creature to look like. You know, I enjoy designing and I enjoy testing just to see if the movement's going to be what I want. But like uh, on this bottom here, I have a, that was a protrusive jaw movement with two servos. But as you see here, this is a, a simple ear movement. And then here's some, uh, another eye mech or eyelid mech. And these, uh, are bead eyes or they're just black beads that you can order online. I'll send you links to those too. And this makes a simple little, you know, eye, eyelid mechanism. But you see, this is the protrusive jaw movement and you'll get a lot more, uh, cool looking expressions. If you have that, you know, we all have protrusive jaw movement. 